PTV Rosalind Lester. I'm Mike Galliano. I'm Aiden Wayne. I'm PTV's Charity Harder. I'm Eo Gifford. Welcome back to another show, PHS. Today is Thursday, May 13, 2021. I'm PTV's Charity Harder. This past Friday and Saturday, the Plymouth High School Performing Arts Department hosted its biannual spring variety show for the public. The extravaganza consisted of comedy skits, vocal solos, instrumental ensembles, and a whole lot of other action for the duration of an hour. The overall idea behind the theater performance was to mimic the chaotic life of a teenager during the pandemic. The spring variety show concluded with a tribute to essential workers, topping off the performance as a success. Switching gears to some sports news, the Plymouth High School baseball team secured a win this week, but it was a bumpy road for the Pilgrims while hosting the Plymouth Invitational this past weekend. The annual tourney consisted of four teams with solid reputations in the Hoosier State. Penn, Fort Wayne Carroll, Hamilton Southeastern, and our Pilgrims. All competed with the hopes of securing the team championship. PTV's Tyler Ritchie was at Bill Nixon Field and secured the video for us. Plymouth struggled in both games and fell short against Hamilton Southeastern with a score of 6-5, followed by another loss to Fort Wayne Carroll with a score of 6-3. Hamilton Southeastern defeated Penn in the championship to secure the team championship. Tonight, the Pilgrims are on the road taking on New Prairie at 6 p.m. Senior Jake Reichert officially signed his letter of intent this past Tuesday. At this time, I'd like you to give a round of applause to Jake. Reichert is furthering his athletic career in Marion University this fall and will be playing football for the NAIA Powerhouse. Throughout his time with the Rockies, he played both quarterback and wide receiver positions. Reichert was recently recognized as a member of the IFCA Region 2 All-Star team. PTV's Tyler Ritchie captured Riker, signed his letter of intent at the Rock Pile with Coach Barron and his family. We wish Jake the best of luck on his further endeavors. Any seniors that have not yet filed the form for financial aid, you have until June 30th to do so. Filing for FAFSA is one of the most important steps for those who want to go to college. The process can help students and families better afford college and higher ed opportunities. Students who have not yet filed should log on to FAFSA.gov for more information. A couple weeks ago, we've highlighted a special project going on in the Applied Skills classroom involving an incubator and chicken eggs. As you may have caught on on our social media channels, the chickens have hatched. PTV's Rosalind Lester headed back to Tammy Radikin's program to talk to students about this exciting lesson. The students have been waiting 23 days and the baby chicks decided to break through their show last Friday. I'm super excited about these chickens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're really cute, cute chickens, and I love them. The chickens were hatched by the incubator that Miss Riking put in there, and she put the chicks in there. She ordered them from a farm, and now we hatched them up. Hey, what's up, you guys? Paul here. So I got, got chicks through here. So the chicks are hatched now. Now time for the announcement of our winner in the PTV Big Red Discount Card Contest. Last show, we asked you what PHS administrator played the most sports in high school. The answer is Assistant Principal Ken Olson. Back in high school, Mr. Olson played basketball, football, lacrosse, swimming, and water polo during high school. We've randomly selected Evan Lewis, who had the correct answer. Congratulations, Evan. We'll make sure to get your free big red discount card as soon as the card come in. The athletic department expects the card soon. Ever since PHS administration told us the Radio TV dual credit PTV program was eliminated for the 2021-2022 school year, we've shared the information with you, our viewers. But on Friday, we learned there is a slim chance the program might actually be offered after all. But right now, the information is not crystal clear. PTV's Aiden Lima backed down memory lane by editing some old PTV show opens from years past. Current instructor Judy Lukowski was reassigned to teach the program back in the 2015-2016 school year, when she was the corporation's marketing director. Prior to Lukowski, Dave McKenzie was in charge full-time of the PTV program. We caught up with Mr. McKenzie to hear more about the history of the program and what the PTV program means or meant to him. When I first came to Plymouth High School in 2000, my primary responsibilities were to teach speech and broadcasting and also do some English teaching. Uh, we only had one broadcasting class when I got here. It consisted of about 20 students and they were both beginners and advanced students. I was fortunate though that I think I came here at about the, ra the right time because the program became very popular. Every day we did uh, the, the live version of the daily announcements that had some supplemental stories in it. It typically was about 10 minutes long. We had stories from uh, the school, stories from the community. We did sports stories, we did feature stories. Uh, we went out and sold commercials and produced commercials for people here locally. What has happened to the program isn't anyone's fault. It was just a situation where we lost the ability to do what people loved. And when people stopped loving it, then people stopped enrolling in it, and 
like everything, if you don't have enrollment in a class, if we don't have students signing up, which is what's happened the last couple of years, the class disappears because there are other needs in the school, and that's unfortunate. So hopefully someday we'll get it back. One student who was in the program when Mr. McKenzie taught the program and then stayed on board for two more years with Ikowski in charge is 2017 grad Juan Garcia. He joins us now to say goodbye to a program that truly sparked his multimedia passion. I'm Juan Garcia, and I was a PTV crew member from 2013-2017. When I was a PTV crew member, I was mostly behind the camera. I was either directing the show or editing the show. I was rarely in front of the camera because I felt more comfortable being behind the camera. I used to record every single event that PHS had. Therefore, when I was in high school, my nickname was The Cameraman. The PTV program taught me a lot of things, and it led me to what I do now, in which that is filming. Even though I always wanted to be a part of the film industry, PTV cemented my purpose for doing what I love the most, and that's filming. I went to college and studied film studies and film production. Three years ago, I was fortunate enough to be interning and job shadowing on a movie set that had a big budget. The movie was Wonder Woman 1984 and it came out on Christmas Day of last year. I was job shadowing the director, Patty Jenkins, and I worked along with Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman herself, and Chris Pine. So without this amazing program, I wouldn't know if the film industry was right for me. Knowing that the PTV program won't be continuing after this semester, I really hope that this program will return in some shape or form in the future. So right before I get out of here, I just want to thank Mr. McKenzie and Judy Lekowski for making the PTV program possible. Well, that's a wrap for this week's show. PTV's Tyler Ritchie will be back with one last show next Thursday. This is my last show at Anchoring, so I just want to say thanks for your support and allowing PTV into your life. I'm PTV's Charity Harder, signing out for the last time. Have a great day, PHS.